hello guys so in in the last video i will i have explained you about this data set uh, birth wt if you have not uh, please have a look on the last video where i have explained you numerical variables and the categorical variables because this video is linked with that uh, video so in the last video i just converted the categorical variables into the factor variables but right now i am just considering one numerical variable and i am trying to, to explain you that how you can um, how you can uh, plot one numerical variable using ggplot2 so say in this data frame the data name is data frame and in the right hand side you can see 189 observations and 10 columns so I already explained H, L, W, T and B, W, T, T. These are three numerical variables and I will be choosing one of these and I will show you what you can do uh, with that. So one of the things which you can do is to plot a histogram. So let's take age and then plot a histogram. So in the histogram what you uh, get to see is that if you see the minimum value is 14 in an age and in the maximum value is 45 so in histogram you can see the distribution of this variable where it shows that uh, in which range of age what is the number of observations lying in that so if you see on the right hand side the histogram is available for the age which I have already plotted using some code I will be explaining in few minutes about uh, how you, I have plotted this so if you see here that there is a huge peak around 25 so it it tells that the distribution and the minimum value is 0 and the maximum value is 50 only few observations are lying above 35 or so see the here is blank space uh, between 35 and 45 so number of observations which are lying uh, which are maximum uh, present are between uh, 20 to 30 you can see a peak here and uh, observations lying below 20 or below 15 is very less and observations lying above 30 is very less most of the people are lying around 20 25 so this was a data for mothers who were pregnant it is very obvious that the uh, the ages group will be around uh, someone something around 25 so it is a distribution of ages of the mothers you can have a look on the data set what is the meaning of that irrespective of what is the meaning you just have to see that uh, this age distribution uh, which is shown here is something like this and how to plot this age variable you can see here is uh, what you can see now you have to write use the function ggplot give the data name as data frame and uh, geom underscore histogram and aesthetics you have to give the x axis means we are only taking one numerical variable at this point of time and the numerical variable which we are taking here is age so you have to use the geom underscore histogram so everything whenever you change the type of plot you have to just change here instead of geom you write geom a b line area bar bin point so many of op options are available you have to just write geom underscore and hit tab you will get all the options available right now i am just using one variable which is age which I will be giving under the aesthetics right x is equal to age for the histogram color you just uh, write blue and the x axis I am taking continuous that's why scale is being chosen as x scale underscore x underscore continuous you can also change the y axis but right now I'm just changing the x axis and uh, name of the x axis I have changed to age and the breaks which I have taken for the x axis starting from 0 and going till 50 these are the ages and uh, spacing of 5 so uh, it is obvious that the ages uh, lesser than 50 is very less and uh, also ages above 50 is uh, also they are not present 
but uh, I am taking a spacing of five. You can choose any spacing here. So if you want to give the name to this plot, what you, you can write inside this GG title uh, and the label is equal to histogram of age and the background you can change. You can choose. Uh, there are many options. What you can do is just write theme underscore and then choose one of these. Right now I've chosen BW. So these are the things. There are many other uh, parameters and arguments which you can tweak. This is the minimum which you, which you should know if you want to plot a histogram for one numerical variable. So this is a very starting point when you have one numerical variable and you want to see the distribution, how it is distributed. Right now it is the distribution of age. So just write, give the name of data, data frame inside which with what is the column name is it is age. You have to give, write it here and you can change the x-axis name here and change the x-axis spacing here. Starting value, maximum value and the gap. Uh, you can change the plot name here and you can change the background here. So this is all you need to write and just select this and hit enter. So here you can see that this is replicated again and you can zoom it to see the distribution of age. So this is for one variable which you can do. Another is uh, what you can do is density plot. Uh, just copy this control C control V instead of writing a histogram or you could just write density and then just control enter and you can change here density plot density plot of H and just select and control enter here you can see the density plot uh, so it is also uh, telling that where the maximum number of observations are lying around 20 to 25 the maximum number of observations are lying and uh, uh, and the uh, ages above 30 is very less and ages below 17 18 is very less so it is tapering down uh, the mean value is something around uh, which you can see, see here between 20 to 25 um, so this is all about the density and the histogram. So if you have one variable, you can plot these two and uh, you can do other things also, but this is the basic. In the next video, I will be explaining how you can see the relation between two numerical variables. Uh, so, so, and how you can plot the categorical variables also in the next videos. So thanks for watching this video.